Good morning, today is the 20th of May 2024 and I'm going to go through my trade plan. As always before we start I'm going to look at what could be moving the market today in the news. We haven't got hardly any news today apart from Fed speakers so keep an eye on 8.45 pre-market, 9 o'clock before the market opens as well and then we've got 10.30 to watch for as well so these can move the market. I'm doing an earlier video today because um, it's my son's sports day which happens to be just half an hour before the market opens which is 2 p.m. here in the UK, um, 9 a.m. Eastern time so I'll be missing the live and the, I'll be missing the open so I thought I'd just do a quick video just with my levels and I can refer back to this a bit later as well myself. So on my screen we've got the ES which is the one hour time frame with the S&P e-mini futures I'm going to keep it really basic today and simple. Not a big fan of short in all time highs, but we've got this level. We can use it as either a break and retest long, or if we see weakness up here, we can look for a short. Happens to be a psychological number 5350 as well. So we can watch that area for a break and retest long, which will be with the trend or a rejection, which is against the trend. I do quite like a break and retest of pre market high. Um, it's a bit of an um, area of confluence, tops of candles, bottoms of candles, and then we consolidated along there. So that's probably my prime long today, break and retest of pre-market high. And that's only if we don't get past that in the next hour before the market opens. And then for bounces, if we see a bit of a sell-off, we can watch this area 53.10, 53.13 for a bounce, a higher risk, or Friday's low. We've got 5300 psychological number, we've got that for a bounce again, that's higher risk only because we've been through it once and we come back, we tested it, broke through and there's not much volume in that area. But my prime area I'm watching for a bounce will be this 5250 area. Um, it's an area of demand, we've got the point of control running through that area, acts as natural resistance. And so I'll be watching from about 5266, 5260 for a bounce area. I've got a level there, I've got an alert in there. We've also got the 200 moving average coming up into that area as well, so I'll be watching this area for a bounce. And obviously we've got a few high risk bounce areas, 52.83, and that goes back to an area of confluence, 52.83. See top of pivot there, tops of candles, bottoms of candles, so an area of confluence. But this is my prime area I'm looking for a bounce. I want to see it come into that area for a pullback and then to continue the trend. And obviously I'll be watching the break and retest of pre-market high and the all-time high to continue to trend up. Next SPY. Got a couple of levels. If we pull back to previous all-time highs, we can watch that for a bounce at 525.80. We've also got the tops of these candles, area confluence. And that is at 524, bar a couple of pennies. We've got all-time high from Thursday. We can watch that again like ES for break and retest long or a rejection. Hard to hard to reject all time highs because it's so strong. If it's all time highs, then it's got to be a strong moving stock. So we can watch that area and I think going with the trend will be a higher probability. Rejecting it will be lower probability. But we'll see. And then if we get back down into this area of demand, I quite like the bounce at 518. 542 to 5.20 and we've got volume below as well the point of control is right down at 5.14 so we've got big area lots of volume in this area as well to watch for next up is NQ I particularly like the break and retest of the pre-market high Let's mark that up that's at 18.689 and um, reason I like that is because we've got pivot from Friday which is Friday's high and we've got area con area of confluence tops and bottoms of candles indecision where we just hovered there broke it came back retested it retested it retested it and then broke down came back up test that area and we're coming back up to test that area now so we're either going to reject that area or we're going to break through and so I like the break and retest gives me better confirmation for the long we can target all time high, we can also look to add there if we break all time high and go long again. Bounce wise, got this higher, riskier 
bounce down at 18,613, 18,600. Even Friday's low is a riskier, it's a riskier bounce, but came in, we tested it once on the highs of Wednesday, rejected it, and then we finally got through. So we have not been back down there since Friday. But highest probability bounce area is going to be this area of demand. I know it's in red, but it's a demand area now. 18,300, got the point of control and the volume all in that area as well. So we've got natural support down this area as well. So if we come back down, I'll be watching for a bounce. And we've also got the 200 moving average coming up into that area as well. Moving on to QQQ. Same deal as NASDAQ, break and retest of pre-market high, we know we're getting close to it now. So we'll see on that one, let's mark off the high. Ooh. That's the high area, so 554.60 area, 555 is it's the all-time highs. Um, I do like the bounce down here again at 441, 442 for a bounce. So same as NASDAQ. SPX, we've got this nice area here. I'm not sure why it's not right. I'm sure I marked it up. Um, oh, yeah, we'll talk about this yellow line in a second. And we've got this triple top, natural bounce area. 50 is coming into that area as well. 5, 12, 52, 56 for a bounce. And then this is a new trend line I've drawn in on the SPX. Let's go into the week. And what I've done is Ignore that. I thought it was as I didn't put that trend line in. I had a trend line coming up from let's just clone that one from that point there, which I thought we were getting close to. We will see. Here we go. That's what I thought we were looking at, and that's coming from the highs of 2007, and now. Here we go, that's what I wanted to see. So it came in and touched it. So that's our rejection point, and that is the new trend line which uses the next pivot along. So we can watch this area. Have we gapped up in the pre market? Yeah, we are. So we're probably going to be up near this trend line. <laughs> so we can watch that area, break and retest along. This is the weekly. It's good to see where potential resistance could be. And if I'm seeing this trend line, I saw this is not my somebody else following on YouTube drew in that trend line I thought oh that's a good one to add in as well so let's go back to the hourly so we're both up there so we can watch Friday's high for a rejection but we've got psychological 5300 for a bounce let's just update that so it's clearer 5300 for a bounce and that's it really and obviously we've got these tops here, so 5,352.50 for a bounce. Crude oil. Let's reset my screen, there we go. Uh, crude oil, putting in this double bottom. And we've broken and retested this pivot, it's what we talked about for a while. Look at that double, these two pivots here, it's an area we've been watching. Tested it there, rejected it, tested it there, rejected it. Now we've broken up, broken through it, rejected it. So potentially we can look for a long. I would say if we can get over Friday's high, that'd be above the moving average. We can watch for a break and retest long. Big move in the pre market. I'm not a big fan of this big. You know, it's almost The pre market move is almost as big as all the Friday's move. Um. We'll see if we can continue to trend up. High, lower, low, a higher, low, higher, high, higher, low. We could be watching for that type of pattern. So we are now broken the pivot, but we kind of rejected. So we got the point of control down here as well, acting as natural support. We can watch for a bounce at Friday's low. 78.50 for a bounce, that's a good area there. Or, I'm going to put an alert in. 
78.68. So if it gets down to 78.50, I'll try and find a long entry. But it has to be a change of trend, and I'll be using a lower time frame for that. Um, otherwise, break and retest. Obviously, we've got to watch pre-market high. There's not much above the hardly any volume above there as well. So we could move all the way up to this 80, 90 level we've got. Probably potentially up into this area of com confidence at 81, 61. Let's mark that in, and that's when the volume starts coming in as well. So that's it really. So watch for a bounce down at the Friday's low or break off yesterday, Friday's high, long. Gold. It's been really strong recently. Pulling back a bit. So if we were to find a bounce area based on confluence. We're looking for previous periods, it's got to be that area there. So top of that area, and it happens to be Friday's low as well, 2400 for a bounce. We've got pre-market high break and retest. We can watch that for a break and retest long, which is 2454. And then we've got this area of confluence around kind of where we are right now, so we can watch this pivot here and that is 24.15 for a bounce RTY next this is just going sideways at the moment it has been for a few days <laughs> we need to watch for the break over pre-market high which is 21.10 or we can wait for the bounce I like the bounce here actually 20.96 for a bounce I, that's Friday's low and it's also pivots and confidence. I'm going to put an alert there. So if we break down below 2100, I'm looking to go long. That's it, really. I can't see anything else. Don't really want to reject. Not at all time highs yet. So we can watch this area breaking out 2122. We can watch it as a rejection. You can see lots of big reactions we've got to those areas before. YM which is the Dow Jones. We've got this all time high double top. So I quite like the rejection up there. And we had a big reaction there last time. And then bounce wise, Friday's low for a bounce. That's only because it's area confluence, bottoms of candles. And then we've got the bounce area down. Here we can watch this area. I do quite like this area for a bounce as well. Not only is it tops of pivots, there's also bottoms of pivots down here. And then finally, Bitcoin. And Bitcoin. We've broken this wedge, this pattern. So we've got this pattern there. We've broken through. Hang on. Right there. Sorry about that, my daughter has just come in from school, she's not really very well. So let's resume the video. So this is the trend we've broken on Bitcoin. And if we can come back down to that area, we can watch 61,000 for a bounce. And we've got this area of um, confluence as well, which is at 68,000, So we can watch that area for potential rejection, but we'll see. It's broken this wedge now, so it's looking more bullish than bearish. And it looks like it's just been going sideways for a few weeks, um, getting ready to either make another move up, possibly. Um, we are also looking at an inverse head and shoulders pattern just here. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And you could say we've had the break and retest of the shoulder there. Or we could be watching this as the neckline, and we could be at the break, the neckline area right now. So that's it, really. That's, that's my plan for today. Let's go back to ES and see if there have been any movements in the last few minutes. So we st still quite like the break and retest of pre market high. We could, we've just rejected it in the pre market actually, and so we can watch for a break and retest long. And that's it, I'll just quickly go through my levels again. I like the break and retest of 53.37, break and retest of the all time highs, 53.50, or use that as a high risk rejection. 
and then we've got a bounce area at 5310 to 5313 that's higher risk and because there's not much volume down that area but I really like coming back down into the 5254 bounce okay that's it um, my order flow live audio will be up next and that will be live okay thank you for watching